Hi guys, it's Judy here, Thrifting KC Style. I want to do a haul with you guys, and it's going to be a pretty big one. <laughs> the bad thing is, I did this haul already last night, but when I went to edit, I could not hear me. I saw me talking. I tried everything, and my volume was not working. I've already double checked, and it is working now. I don't. I still do not know what was done differently, but yeah, it wasn't working. So I think it had something to do with my microphone. I'm still learning that thing. So, but um, to remind you guys, my name is Judy. I do live in the Kansas City, Missouri area, and I am a full-time pharmacy technician and a part-time reseller. I love being a reseller. So much fun. Um, I love buying stuff, and I love being able to share it with other people. And then I decided to do a YouTube channel more for me than for anybody because I feel like I get so much advice and suggestions and stuff from everybody who leaves the comments and it helps. It really does help me to keep in the continuing to learn. So I, today is a Wednesday, the 12th. I should be at work, but I'm not only <laughs> because I had jury duty this morning. And I didn't get selected for the jury, so I was able to come home. And I did message my boss. I was like, um, okay, I didn't get selected, so do I need to come into work? She said, just take the day off. <laughs> okay, don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> so I do have to go in tomorrow, though, but that's okay. I'm happy that I can get some things done, especially since my videos did not work last night, and now I have to, <laughs> have to redo them. I was like... Oh, my second video. I was doing two last night. One a haul and then one a what sold. And then my mom called me um, during the what sold one. And so I, I needed to go back to see what the last thing I talked about. And nothing on either of the, any of the videos. So I figured, okay, there were things I probably didn't, didn't like in, in either one of them. So I can start over and say, okay, ah, this one will be even better than what you would have gotten in the first place. <laughs> and I am, I always stand here and I usually have a towel up here. Um, but I decided you guys are probably getting sick of seeing that ugly towel. <laughs> so I took it down. So I hope this doesn't bother you with the light coming in. Um, but I thought it looked better than the towel. I need to make some kind of little curtain along here because when the sun shines and comes in this window, it is so bright and this is like you can't see out this window but that sun sure can make its way in so in my last video i was telling you guys i did go to some um it state sales and then some thrift stores and so i just decided to combine all of it and show it to you and i you're not going to see all of it because there's some things i've already listed and i'm not getting those back out of inventory i'm i will tell you and put a picture up here of what i got and then hopefully uh, that will give you an idea. And then if you're interested, you can always check out my stores because <laughs> they are on all my stores. Well, at least the main three ones. <laughs> okay. So I don't know exactly where I got all of these. They're not in order. I mean, I'll know once I pick it up, but nothing's in order. Everything's just piled up, especially since I'm starting over. <laughs> but. Let me tell you about the three items that, no, four items that I already listed. And, and then um, we can go from there. So I found at a thrift store that I've never, ever been to before. Someone recommended it to me when my husband was in the hospital the last time. And it's not in our area. Um, but it was a day my husband had three doctor's appointments. And so in between each appointment, we went to a, a thrift store. So it was really cool. Um, and this one... They had like two different stores for this particular thrift stores, but it's like each around the corner from each other. And the first one we went into was so expensive. And I was like, okay, there is no way I can buy anything in this one. I bought me a big long body pillow just for me because I, I like sleeping with them for, it was $10 and got marked down to eight twenty or something like that. It was like 20% off. Um, and so that was nice for me. But yeah, there was nothing in there for me to be able to resell. So then my husband said, well, the other one's around the corner. And I said, there's another one? He's yeah, it's just around the corner. And we was, I was discouraged. I didn't know if I wanted to go, but I, we ended up going. This one was humongous. 
and I got some good things. In fact, two of the items, um, yeah, I think it's two of the items I'm going to tell you came from this particular store. And one of them was a Torrid denim jacket. It was um, a plus size. It was a 4X. It said 4 slash 4X. So, um, and it was denim, distressed. It was pretty long. Um, I mean, it was, I'm not a 4X, so it, it looked bigger, but it'd be perfect for someone that needs that size of a jacket. And I want to say I paid $8 for it. I have it listed for maybe 45 or 50 I forget the exact price. And then also at the same place, I found this new with tag Torrid that was a long cardigan, um, kind of a sweater cardigan. And it was orange and purple, I think. And the, and the hood was what was purple. It was really cute. And that is something else. And I do have that listed for 50, I think. Been a while since I list all of these. But you will have both of those pictures up. Then I went to a thrift No. Let me. I went to an estate sale that was actually almost out. They sold out of a lot of stuff. And I went at the end of their last day. And I mean, literally, I think there was only like 30 minutes left. And so I went in and I, I knew it wasn't going to take long because they didn't have a lot. But in this one closet, they had um, a lot of clothes of, I'm assuming, the wives. And they were J. Jill. And you know I like my J. Jill. And so I'm going to show you some of them. But the one, I listed one because it was gorgeous. All of them are pretty. But this one was um, black and white. And it kind of fitted. Uh, around the waist, I think it had elastic, um, and it was in the leaves print. So the leaves were white, and it was just gorgeous. And so I, I listed that for 50. I know I'll probably have to go down on a lot of these, um, so I'm just seeing what will get, you know, see if someone will give me an offer. I like that. I like to, I usually price it up about $5 because I know I'm going to get offers <laughs> on, everything and then I'll probably get what I want in the long run and then the last thing thing I need to think about it what was it jacket jacket oh I remember we went to another thrift store the same day and they had up at the counter where they have the basket full of returns and they just have them in return I saw this something it looked like a blanket um and it felt so soft. So I pulled it out and it was actually a poncho, a turtleneck, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it was Barefoot Dreams. And I've never, ever <laughs> got that brand before. So I was so excited. And yeah, it is also listed for about $45. And so I'm hoping, I'm hoping <laughs> those will sell. But that's what's listed. Everything else I need to list. And that's why I decided to do this haul all together because I want to um, show them to you before I list them because as soon as I list them, I do like to put them up. I'm not always good about that, but I'm trying. So I'm going to show you um, some things I got when I was at my mom's um, just recently. This past weekend, I was at my parents' house to help out my mom. You know, my dad is sick. And so my mom um, left to go do some things on Saturday morning. I stayed with my dad. And, but then that afternoon we went to a flea market together, all three of us. So that was fun. So I got a couple of baseball caps and I, I, I like caps. I don't think I sell them that good, but <laughs> it was, it's fun to get them. And I do like to have little things in my store too, for maybe um, someone kid who wants to go online and buy something for their, their dad or their mom that they, you know, that they want to pay for. So um, but I got this one, but this one is actually, I think a woman's, but I'm not a hundred percent for sure. And I'm really not sure what the, in which, um, <laughs> team this is. I don't, I know I looked at that, but I already forgot. Um, it does have Reebok and it's, it's, it's a stretch. So it doesn't have the clip, but it does have the logo in the back. And so, and this was really good condition. And I, I think when I looked this up, it did say this was vintage, but I do have to look that up again. Now, this one's cool, and I did not realize this, So this is St. Louis Rams. And if I'm thinking right, they're not in St. Louis anymore. And, but what's cool about this is that it has 
that in there and a place to put a battery. Um, it had a battery in it that was dead. And so my husband did put another battery in it that didn't quite fit, but we was able to at least see if it worked. And it did. Um, he like had to hold the battery in place. Um, but then this all lit up. It was really cool. And so, yeah, and this is one size fits all officially licensed NFL. So, so yeah, I, I thought these were too good. I, I, they had a stack of hats in one booth there. And I, I literally went through all of them. And these were the only two that I thought I could resell. They had some, they had like a kid's one that was cars. I was really surprised that one wasn't worth it. But, you know, I, I don't want to just get something just because I'm trying. Though you're going to see some in here that some things I got just because. Because, you know, that's how Judy rolls, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Um, I got ties at the it state sale that I was telling you about that I went that had a lot of J. Jills. Um, but I did see these ties there. This is Garfield. Um, it just it is just so funny. And it says it's Gold Stan. And then I got this chicken one, chicken and rooster and baby chicks. Um, I mean, how cute would that be to give this to a farmer, a dad that's a farmer? Um, or even, you know, so, but I'm kind of, I'm, I I don't have chickens decorations in my house, but my parents does. And it's because my parents lives in a old chicken coop. They, of course, is remodeled and it is a house. It has a bathroom. It's officially a house now. Um, but many, many, many years ago, the owner remodeled it from a chicken coop. <laughs> and so when my parents moved into that place, my sister and I went and bought all these chicken decorations and we hit them all around the house. It was a hoot. We loved it. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Um, also to buy my local, buy my house, that little thrift store I talk about a lot. I went um, the day my husband um, had all those doctor's appointments and it was just like, yeah, I want to go. You know, it wasn't like something I needed to do, but I love going. Um, they always have good stuff. You know, sometimes the littler ones have better stuff than some of the bigger ones. Um, but this is Alfred um, Dunner. It's a petite and it is a medium, but I got this for the style. It is gorgeous. Look at that applique. And it has, I don't know if you can see it. My light isn't doing that great. But it has beading and then the embroidery it is so pretty is so soft i am going to list this but then i do need to wash it a little bit because the sleeves uh, got a little bit of uh, dirt around the edges but overall this is a very neat um clean top um jacket i think this will sell pretty good now i need to figure out where i'm going to put everything because my pile you know i you guys don't need to know all that right <laughs> Okay, then I also got the same at the same same thrift store. I got this, also Alfred Dunner. This one's an extra large though. It's a peach color, um, but it is also quite gorgeous. I just thought this was so pretty, and I really think someone will like that as well. And it is more of a. It does have embroidery, but also applique, um, and then the beading, some beads as well, like right here. That's a bead. These are beads. And I did look this over pretty good. I didn't see anything missing. So I really think this is so pretty. And then I got some toys at that thrift store um, because I'm planning on doing a whatnot. Uh, probably Monday, I got to still put everything in there and advertise. And I'm going to do a toys, plushes, and I have some action figures and I have some cars. Trying to get a little bit of everything for all these little kiddos. And so I got this <laughs> turtle. It is so cute. I think it was $2. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll put this up on my whatnot. I think someone would like that. And this one I had to get. This one was $2 as well. It is so cute. Cabbage Patch Baby. Got the in the costume. Looks like a kitty cat. So cute. <laughs> And then I got this, which was probably a mistake um, because I realize now it looks like someone repaired it down here. And so, I mean, I'll notate it, um, but this probably won't sell for much because of that. 
and it is one of those things you put on a child and then you can walk them like a dog <laughs> never use one myself but i know these are pretty popular it does have a little pocket in the back too what is is anything in here nope nothing's in there nobody leaves money anymore do they <laughs> anyway so that's that was something and then at the flea market i went to with my parents again i got this this and uh, now all three of those last things i am gonna pay my whatnot along with this um this i want to say was a dollar um it still has a tag it is old it's been um around it's dirty got a lot of dirt on it i'm not gonna wash it i'm not gonna worry about it um but yeah it's it's a good that's cute i love Tasmanian devil it was one of my favorite characters <laughs> also at my local thrift store I got this dress and you guys I loved it it is so pretty and I'm wondering who knows why I like this dress so much does anybody if you do write it in the in a uh, comment and see if you guys are right <laughs> This is just Ann Taylor, size large. It's Ann Taylor factory, but this dress is so cute and just like a throw on one. It doesn't look, it looks kind of like that material that doesn't wrinkle very much. So I had to get it because of what I liked about it. And I'm not going to say what I liked about it because I want you guys to guess. I think some of you will. <sighs> so same thrift store. I got this soft surroundings. This is a large, I think. Yeah. So here's soft surroundings, large, just a brown maxi skirt. Um, as you can tell, it's wrinkles, <laughs> but I will, of course, fluff it. Hopefully that will work. But it's super long, and I love those these kind of waists. They're so comfy. Too long for me because I like them. I don't like them to really be touching the ground. But, yeah, someone will really like this a lot. Okay. I got this for me also at the thrift store as well. This is just a tire, um, a tire women. It is a size 18 W, but it's just a pair of capris. So colorful. I love it. You know, I like to tie dye. <laughs> so this kind of just reminded me of tie dyeing or sweat paint splatters or yeah, it's so cute. It'll be fun got this there as well it's a shirt men's top dry duck i never heard of that brand but i like the design the 2xl it has the air um, breathable section so a guy won't get too hot it also has the logo in the back but I'm trying to move out of the way here it is just a plaid top long sleeves really nice really good condition so hopefully that will bring me some money and what was really cool about being on jury duty they sent us out they let us go and recess why they decide who was going to be on the jury when i got out to the car i had two offers on stuff and not bad offers you know i had a stool that sold for 48 dollars it's a vintage um, stool and then a um, dress and for 25 so 48 and 25 and i didn't do anything i just was in jury duty so it was like nice making money when you're not working type deal so anyway and i'm planning on going to a beautician soon i cut my hair <laughs> myself and i really butchered the bangs and i was like okay i need to just go <laughs> and get someone professional to fix it um, i got this shirt for my husband this is just Sonomo. This is also a 2X. He likes this plaid and this is blue and maybe kind of a whitish grayish color. But yeah, this is something he will like. I know. And yeah, I always try to find him at least one thing, maybe sometimes more, just, you know, to say, I'm thinking of you, baby. <laughs> okay. Another first store, a different one this time. I think this was a Goodwill. And I paid um, $7.99 for these jeans, which I thought was pretty good because women's jeans at Goodwill is $10. So the fact that I got these <laughs> cheaper 
that's kind of surprised me. Because um, these are LL Bean, double L, relaxed fit. They are a 36 by 34, so they're long. But they are like in excellent condition. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with these. And then they are also insulated, so they have this flannel type material. You can roll the, the cuffs up if you want, um, but you will definitely be warm in the wintertime. And so, and these are men's. So, like I said, I'm trying to, you know, I have a hard time getting men's because I don't know exactly what men want. Um, but this one's interesting is that I was watching um, Lori Tata, and I'll link one of her videos up above. Um, she's got up some presents and stuff for her kids. And, but she was telling us that one of her sons, her youngest, Rocco, is wanting a pair just like those. These are way too big for him. <laughs> but I was like, okay, they, maybe that means those kind are popular, you know, with the installation. So, you know, people living in color weather states probably really like those. Okay, this dress is Elaine Bryant. This was what was on the clearance um, that was a yellow tag. That was the day of clearance because I definitely would not have paid nine dollars, um, but I think I paid half of that. So what would that be? Well, it was ten dollars, so five. I paid five. Um, but this is just a simple Lane Bryan. The neckline is kind of more of a scoop neck neckline, and it is really long maxi dress. This also goes down to my feet. <laughs> And this is probably going to be more of a summer one, but, you know, I liked it. I think this is rayon, too, because I thought I like, I like rayon. I like the stretchiness of rayon. If I can find the tag, maybe it's up here. Yeah, rayon and spandex. So, yeah. Yeah, and it's really neat. I liked it. So I got it. That's what I did. That's what I did. This was at that new thrift store I'd never been to before. Um, and you guys, I love novelty prints. And so I had to get this one because of that. It's, and it's also Chico's, uh, which is a good good brand, size three. And then it also says no, wrink no iron. This is wrinkled, though, <laughs> because it's been stuffed in a bag for a while. But this is a really cool novelty. It does have the row tab sleeves. And then it's got seashells. So I think that is really cool um, shirt. And it is a good size. I think it's three. I'm not even going to guess. Because I, I, I never seem to get them right. So I'm not even going to guess. It might be in large or extra large though. So I guess I did guess. <laughs> and then uh, a good wheel. I got this top. Not top dress. I said I wasn't going to get Eliza James anymore because you're going to find out on one of my videos that I did. I did lose some money on one or did I lose money or I just didn't make very much. But it, I've had that one forever and you'll hear about that soon, um, if not before this one. Um, but this is Eliza Jane size 14. The one I sewed was a six. And so, of course, those I, I do think smaller sizes takes a little longer to sell. And I sold it pretty cheap. And, but this dress is probably the favorite. I actually got three Eliza Janes at this store. And this one is so pretty with the blue and the white. It is a midi, so it's not that long. And it's a, I, I would consider this a fit and flare, um, but I'm totally not 100% for sure. I'm still trying to figure out the styles of the dresses. And my dog is right down underfoot if you're hearing feet tapping. Since I'm by the door, she wants me to open the door because she likes to sit in the window, the window of the door, of the screen door, and look outside as her, look at her domain. <laughs> but I told her she had to wait. <laughs> but she's being kind of impatient. Okay. And here's the other Elijah Jane. This is a 16W. So good size. This is dark blue with pink floral flowers. Also a midi. The skirt, these skirts are so full. And this one is cool because it has a gold exposed zipper. So very, very nice. Um, I do probably need to sweater shave it a little bit. It looks like 
there's some peeling. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing there. See the peeling? So I will probably need to shave those. It could be just dust too. Oh, these do. This one does have pockets. Well, that's nice. I don't think the other one did. It might. It might have. I have to look. Then the last dress I got that was Elijah Jean. This one is also a 14, like that first one. This one has a belt with it. I like the way they put the belt on there so you wouldn't lose it. Um, and then it's just a pink floral. It also has an exposed zipper as well. And I'm pretty sure all of these are polyester, um, but they are fully lined, all of them. Um, and yeah, polyester. Dry clean only. But yeah, these I think these will sell better because of the size. And the other one had floral and then stripes. So it was like a lot of mixed media type stuff on there. And and I'm thinking that might have been why it wasn't selling. Not not just because of, of the size. Okay. Now we're gonna do some more of the J Jills I got that I mentioned earlier. Um this one is J. Jill fit. It's extra large. Um, there's a little tennis skirt. Um, it does have pockets. Got the elastic waist. Got a drawstring up front. And it does have the panty or the lining. Don't know what you call it. It does have that inside. But I thought for J. Jill. And also, all of these J. Jills are tall. So they're uh, you know, most of them are large. This is extra large. I think it's the only extra large one. And, but they are all tall. So, yeah. I just um, love finding J. Jill. And these were really good condition. So, except one shirt I'll show you in a minute that I'll probably try to keep for me. Okay, another J. Jill. This is also tall. This is a well, wherever collection and sleeveless does have kind of a collar. I don't know how to describe this collar. That would be considered a collar. Um, V-neck, floral, black. This is a maxi dress. It does have a slit. It is lined. So it's all around a really nice, good dress. So really, really like this. Um, if I was a large, I'm, well, these are a little, these are quite a bit longer. And I'm not, I'm not locking to, I don't want to sew everything I buy for me. So yeah, probably won't even try to keep it, but it's a large anyway. So <laughs> it would probably get on me, but then show every little flaw I have. <laughs> okay, so this is similar dress like the one I just showed you. It's also the J. Jill, well, wherever. And it is, but it is a round neck, pink and green. Also a maxi. This one is not lined, um, but it does have the slit. But it is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love, I love that um, design of this one. It's so pretty. Now, both of these dresses, the original price of that estate sale was $18. They were... No, I, I'm not surprised that all the J. Jills were still there because they were asking so much money. And so I went on their 70% day. Never had been to one that was 70% off, but anyway, I got 70% off of that. I don't know in my head how much that is um, right off the bat, but I want to say my cost of goods is going to be over $5 for each item I picked out. The J. Jill I already listed, I told you about, that they were asking 35 for it, which... I have, I think I have a list, I think I told you 50, but I know I'll probably end up going down, but I'm starting off with 50, so. Okay, I got this J. Jill also. Um, it is also a wherever. This is a large tall, and this is a pair of culottes. They're, they just look comfy, don't they? I love them. And they got the stretchy waist. They're pretty. So hopefully those will sell. Um, you know, on the dresses, I'm probably going to list those for 25 
two lots for like 20. I know I'm not going to get a lot of money, but I will definitely get, get profit. Now I got some tops. I originally was going to lot these together because I got three t-shirts. Um, but then I decided to try to sell them mainly because this one was long sleeve and the other two are short sleeve. Um, but let me show you them. <laughs> this is J. Jill, large, tall. And look at the novelty of this one. It is so pretty with the seashells and kind of like the probably seaweed I would consider it would be. But it's got the red background. And then, like I said, this is long sleeve. So, pretty, pretty cool. So, this owner loved her J. Jill, I'm finding out. I'm not the only one who's obsessed. This one, also large, tall. This one is Pema Cotton. Um, but this is just a floral print, kind of an orange, peachy orange background. The flowers on this is so pretty. And then the back. So, I mean, I'll probably list these for 18 a piece, maybe 20. Or I'll look them up and see what it comes at. That might be the best thing to do, right? <laughs> this is the one I'm keeping because there's a lot of wash wear on this one. But I love the novelty. <laughs> Pineapple and the different fruits, the pears. I used to do pears in my kitchen um, in my old house, but so yeah, I got a fondness for pears. Um, J. Jill, wherever, but if you could see, um, trying to trying to get the bad spot. It is very washed wear. I don't know if you guys can see it, but all along in here, um, but it's the whole shirt, not just there. And so I figured, you know, I could probably do this, you know, at least around the house and be comfy. And this is another J. Jill. I think this is the last one. This is another tennis skirt. Also, J. Jill fit, large. This one, I really like. It's the blue. Um, pretty much the same design, except no drawstring. It's flat in front. And then it does have the elastic in the back. Uh, it does have pockets. Oh, and they zip. That's super nice. And then got the lining as well. So, does it have two pockets or just the one? No, nope, just the one. Just the one. Okay, now on to another estate sale we went to. Um, this one company we used to go to all the time, and I think I mentioned this in my last um, video of this. I had some stuff from this company from at another estate sale, and they were marking up their stuff so expensive. Um, at that one, I got I was getting clothes for two dollars a piece because it was on clearance, but I there they had some other stuff that was just outrageously so high. Um, <laughs> So this one was the same. All their clothes were so high and you had to really pay attention because so many of them were stained. But I was able to find some golden jewels, I guess, so to speak. Um, so this is a extra large men's jacket. It is Callaway, which I think is a good brand. It does have the logo right here. Um, full zip. Nope. Sorry. So I think that would be considered a quarter zip, but it's just a solid black. Um, jacket so yeah nice and then this one's for me i've been needing a white shirt and this is long sleeve so it'd be good for the winter so hard to find white shirts that's not like totally see-through i don't really want anybody to see my bra all the time <laughs> um but this is dress bar extra large and this one was a dollar so i was really happy to get this so i paid um I think everything was half off there, so I paid 50 cents for it. So yeah, pretty cool. Their sweaters were $3, I think. So I got this sweater. This one is, whew, sorry, I'm running out of breath here. It's Vince Camuto, new with tag. It does have an exposed zipper up front, but it's just like a half zip. Yeah, orange turtleneck. Um, but it's 
so pretty. I wish I already had this listed since it's, um, it would make a good gift for somebody. This one, um, I will, I'm going to sell. I have another one that I'm keeping that's similar. Well, it's yellow. <laughs> but this is Buffalo. And it says David um, Bitten. This is an extra large. I might still keep this if the comps aren't that good because I do like it. But it is feathers over it. Um, they look like feathers. And then it ties at the bottom. And then it has this crochet on the shoulder. So I do like that. I will comp it and see what it will go for. This is the one I am for sure keeping because it's just Izod, extra large, and it's pineapple novelty. So cute. And it has the knot at the bottom, sleeveless, not sleeveless, but what is this called? Cap sleeves. So pretty excited about that. This one. Pretty sure um, the lady that um, lived in this house previously um, did crafts of her own. There was a lot of knitted items laying around that you could tell was homemade. So I think she revamped this sweatshirt and I liked it. So I went ahead and got it to try to resell. I don't think this is original to the shirt, um, but it's really cool. This is a Jersey 3X, so I like the size. And it has it on the sleeves, on both sleeves down here at the bottom, and then also some in the back. So I really think someone will like this because it's unique and it looks like it has some character to it. And then I really got a lot of stuff at this <laughs> one thrift store. Thrift store, no, it states so. This is Nina Leonard, which this one was just a dollar, so I only, got, only had to pay 50 cents for this. And this is a sweater. Nina Leonard, and I love the novelty of it, the red with the stars. It is so pretty, and it is a 3X. You know, I like to get the bigger sizes. I do think um, the bigger sizes sells a little bit better than the small, but I do know there are also small people out there that needs clothes, so I don't try to just get the bigger sizes. <laughs> this one I think I paid up for by accident. I don't think I meant to. I, thought, I think I read it as $1. No, I don't know what I thought it was. So I think I paid 10 for this, which probably was not the best buy. But I, you know, I, I'm going to average my cost of goods out. So it won't be quite 10. Um, but this is a Eddie Bauer. This is a 2X. Eddie Bauer 2X. And this is very soft material. Um, and it's a plaid. It's so pretty and soft. So I'm not... Uh, Upset, upset. I just wish I had paid better attention to the price. So, but yeah, it's pretty. It was up by the register. <laughs> and I think I was just trying, I just saw it and I said, I, I might not even paid attention to it. Well, I know I didn't pay attention to the price because I got it. So, <sighs> wow, guys, we just have a few more things. I know I'm missing some things. <laughs> Pebble Beach. This is extra large. Um, okay, guess I got everything over there. Just a couple more things over there. But this is just a sweatshirt. Um, Pebble Beach is a golf place, I'm pretty sure. And I got this because I just loved the green color. I just thought this was so pretty. And it's extra large, um, quarter zip. So yeah. And then. First store fine, which I told my husband I gotta quit buying Build a Bears, but I keep buying Build a Bears. But this one, you know, I like buying them when they have clothes. And this one is so cute. It's not the biggest one in the world. Um, I did not <laughs> Google lens this, but this will go in my whatnot show. Um, now, most of my other ones, I took the clothes off, and I was I'm planning on lighting those up. And I don't know if I'm going to light them up on <laughs> whatnot or if I'm going to light them up on, on um, eBay. I just sold some Build-A-Bear Skechers shoes um, for $11. So that for that particular dog, I think it was a dog, 
um, I already got my money back for that because I sold those shoes by themselves. So, okay. Then I got this. It's a little lovey. It's so cute. I just love these. And I, I want to say it's not a brand I know. But I still think it will sell. It just says blank, blankets and beyond. Um, but it's a little bare. And I got the little um, textured blanket. So, really cute. So, guys, pretty sure that's my haul. Oh, no. Hang on. I'm piling stuff up on some things. Okay. My local thrift store <laughs> had these white mountain, white shoes, um, perforated sides, design. They are like new. Love them. Um, if they were my size, I would probably keep them because I need some white ones. Um, it's really hard for me to buy shoes online, though, because my feet is so wacky. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about these white ones is that they do, um, the whiteness comes off. So, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about these. Um, but, yeah, these are really cute. Like I said, they're like new. And then this will show you what I mean by the white coming off. Because these were in the same bag together, and you can see the white rubbed off. Because these were like new condition as well. I mean, you can definitely tell someone wore these, but they're in really good condition. This is Clark Cloud Stepper. And then there, see all the white on there. So I definitely have to clean those up. And then one more thing, and then I think I'm done. At the. Um, flea market I went to with my parents. I got this bag. This is a Bagalini bag. I sold one of these before and um, I thought this one was cool because of all the multiple pockets. It has pockets up here. It has a two slide pockets up front. It has a zipper pocket right here and then inside as well. Um, it has the different pockets. So yeah, so this one was nice. So, guys, I did it. I showed you everything. Now I can start listing and getting um, hopefully some sales. That's the goal, right? Is you're doing this for work. <laughs> you want the money. So, yeah, it's hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys did, if you could go ahead and hit those likes for me, I would so much appreciate it. And also, if you sub, then that way, doing both of those, it will show um, YouTube. Um, that people are interested in my videos and then they will push them out to other people. So I'm at officially at over 300 last night when I looked, I had 301 subs. So thank you to everyone that have subbed to me. I appreciate you guys so very much. You don't know, don't really understand how much I appreciate you guys, but it's been a wonderful ride so far. And I'm looking forward to 2024 and continuing this ride on YouTube. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope you have a wonderful week and I hope, I hope that you have many, many, many cells. Bye guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.